Hey, Dana Kaufman here from the SQL Server Appliance Engineering team, and uh, back again to talk about our latest appliance just announced today with, with HP. It's the HP Business Data Warehouse Appliance. We collaborated with HP to address the data warehouse workload. Um, I happen to have one right here. So this appliance is for data warehouses of up to five terabytes in size. It's, uh, it contains SQL Server 2008R2 and Windows Server 2008R2 SP1. It's uh, based on the Fast Track 3.0 data warehouse reference architecture. We leverage some features in SQL Server 2008R2 to greatly streamline the installation. Basically, you plug it in, power it on, run through the installation, um, and then in in a little over 10 minutes, you're up and running with an optimized, highly configured SQL Server and ready to create your data warehouses and import your data. So let's take a look at it actually at the, the front of this appliance. And uh, if you look first, there's a little status panel here. When powered on, it has lights that indicate the health of the various components um, of the appliance. And then there's 24 hard drives here on the front and you can see hard drives are very important you need some place to store your data warehouse and so uh, what these are, are are SAS drives and we'll talk a little about the configuration there's dual 300 gigabyte SAS drives which are uh, your mirrored system uh, system drives so the pair of them um, make up your system drive and then there's uh, there's six user data LUNs and those are mirrored pairs so 12 total and those are 600 gig drives and then there's uh, four 600 gig drives that are uh, configured for RAID 10 and that is where you store your log files and then there's three drives uh, 600 gig drives that are RAID 5 drives and those are configured um, for your staging area so you can pull in data and import it into your data warehouse there's also three drives which are uh, spare drives so 24 drives total so uh, that gives you about 2.3 terabytes of raw uh, user storage so let's go uh, uh, over onto the other side of the appliance and we'll look at the back so you can see here we have a monitor uh, mouse and, and keyboard ports and also some USB ports. Those are you can directly attach your peripherals for managing the appliance. There's also this ILO port that allows you to remotely manage uh, the appliance over the network using a web browser. And it's basically you can it's just like you're attached with monitor, keyboard, and mouse, but you you actually drive and configure the appliance from the from a web browser remotely. And then moving on, we have four uh, network ports here. There's their gigabyte Ethernet network ports. And then a, a bunch of external SCSI ports. You can use those for things like hooking up an external tape backup so that you can back up your data warehouse. And then we'll, we'll open up the appliance and look inside. So here we have dual Intel Westmere uh, CPUs. There are six cores each. So 12 cores total, great for uh, plenty of horsepower for uh, CPU intensive uh, SQL queries. And then uh, we have, um, uh, this is the network drive, this is a network card, and then we have the external SCSI card. And then this is the SAS expander card. We need this to power all those hard drives at the front. You can see all the cables here. And then hooked to that is an actual SCSI card. And then over here there is an internal SCSI adapter that's a couple of the drives are hooked to. And then down here you'll see there's 96 gigabytes of RAM. So we picked the hardware configuration and the software to give you maximum I.O. that's, that's needed for your data warehouse and, and to, to run data warehouse queries and for the data warehouse workload. So that's a quick look at the HP Business Data Warehouse Appliance. Remember it's totally self-contained up to 5 terabytes. From uh, plugging and powering on all the way to install, um, you'll get up and running with SQL Server in a little over 10 minutes time. You can find out more about the HP Business Data Warehouse Appliance on our website, microsoft.com slash SQL Server, and check out our YouTube uh, channel, the SQL Server YouTube channel, to find more videos on the SQL Server appliances.